<coughs> then one more issue that we'll mention quickly before going into the actual tafsir of the ayat is what is the ruling regarding reciting Surah Al-Fatiha in the prayer? When a person prays, what is the ruling on re- reciting Surah Al-Fatiha? Regarding that, then the majority of the scholars, the majority of the scholars have said that it is an obligation to recite Surah Al-Fatiha in the prayer. And the one who does not recite Surah Al-Fatiha in his prayer, then his prayer is incorrect. Many of the scholars have taken that opinion. Due to the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, مَنْ لَمْ يَقْرَأْ بِفَاتِحَةِ الْكِتَابِ لَا صَلَاةَ لِمَنْ لَمْ يَقْرَأْ بِفَاتِحَةِ الْكِتَابِ that there is no prayer for the one who does not recite the Fatiha. So many of the scholars have taken the position that it must be read. But essentially there are three main opinions that you could understand with regards to reading or reciting Surah Al-Fatiha in the prayer. The first opinion is, or firstly before we get to that, when you pray, you could be in one of three different ways. You can pray in one of three different ways. Either you are the Imam. Maybe you could be praying one day and you are the Imam. You are leading other people. So one situation is that you are praying and you are the Imam. Another situation could be that you're praying and you're not the Imam, but you are somebody behind the the Imam, praying behind the Imam. And what's the third situation? If you're not the Imam, and you're not praying behind the Imam, how else could you be praying? On your own. own. Maybe you're praying some Nafal or some Sunnah, by yourself, on your own, not in congregation. So there's three possibilities when you pray. Either you're the Imam, or you're being led by the Imam in the congregation, or you're praying some prayer by yourself. Three possibilities. The first opinion of the scholars is that you must recite Surah Al-Fatiha in all of those situations. Whether you're the Imam, whether you're in the congregation being led by the Imam, or whether you are praying by yourself in any circumstances, you must recite Al-Fatiha in every raka'ah. That is one opinion of some of the scholars. And they use the evidences, such as the hadith that was mentioned, لا صلاة لمن لم يقرأ بفاتحة الكتاب There is no prayer for the one who does not recite the Fatiha. So they said, that includes everyone. Whether you're the Imam, whether you're being led in the prayer, whether you're praying by yourself, then the Prophet ﷺ says here, there is no prayer for the one who doesn't recite Fatiha. So they say all of those situations, all of those circumstances, you must recite the Fatiha. Um, The second opinion is that if you are the Imam, if you are the Imam, you must recite the Fatiha. If you are by yourself, you must recite the Fatiha. But if you are in the congregation being led by the Imam, then you do not need to recite the Fatiha. So the second opinion is, if you are in the congregation being led by the Imam, then you don't have to recite it. Why? Because they say, the Imam he has to recite, and because he's leading everyone behind him, then his recitation, it covers everyone. He's the Imam, he's leading everyone, he has to recite. He, if he recites, and he has to recite, then his recitation covers everybody because he's leading them all. So the second opinion is, that's it, just the Imam has to recite. People behind him don't have to. They are covered by the Imam. 
That is one opinion of some of the scholars. And they use some evidences like the ayah in the Quran. فَإِذَا وَإِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنُ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنصِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ That if the Qur'an is recited, then listen to it. Listen to it and pay attention to it. That maybe you will have mercy shown to you. So the ayah says, if the Qur'an is recited, then listen to it. So when you're being led by the imam in Fajr or Maghrib or Isha, and the imam is reciting out loud, if you're reciting as well, can you be listening to the imam then? You can't be listening to the imam if you're reciting too. So in this opinion, they say you don't recite. The imam recites, he covers you all, you listen to him as the Quran says, and that's it. There is a third opinion. And it is mentioned that this is the opinion of Al-Imam Malik and the choice of Shaykh islam Ibn Taymiyyah and a group of the scholars. They said, again, the imam, he must recite. So in all three opinions, the imam has to do it. In all three opinions, if you're praying by yourself, you <coughs> have to do it. The issue is only about the congregation. When you're being led in the congregation. The first opinion was even in the congregation you have to recite. The second opinion was in the congregation you don't have to recite. The third opinion is in the congregation if you're being led by the imam, then if it's one of the loud prayers, then you do not have to recite. And if it is the quiet prayers, then you do have to recite. Which ones are the quiet prayers? Dhuhr and Asr. Because in Dhuhr and Asr, when you are praying with the Imam, can you hear the Imam reciting? No. You can't. It's quiet. So in those two, they say you have to recite Fatiha. The Imam doesn't cover you because you can't hear him. You can't hear him reciting the Fatiha. So you've got to do it yourself. In those prayers, you've got to do it yourself. But in Fajr, in both raka'at of the Fajr prayer, can you hear the Imam or not? You can hear him. So they say you don't have to recite. In Dhuhr, all of it is quiet. So like we said, you have to recite. In Asr, all of it is quiet. You have to recite. In Maghrib, in the first two raka'at, can you hear the Imam or not? Yeah. You can. So in this opinion, they'll say you don't have to recite. The third raka'ah in Maghrib, no. Then you can't hear the Imam, so you do recite. In Isha, the first two raka'at, you can hear, so you don't recite. In the last two, you can't hear, so you do recite. So in this third opinion, they make a balance. They say if the prayer is a loud prayer where you can hear the Imam, then you don't recite. The Imam, you listen to him and that covers you. But if it's a quiet prayer, even if you're being led by the Imam and the Imam is reciting because you can't hear him, it's a quiet prayer, then you've got to recite. And this is what Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah uh, leaned towards. And it's mentioned that it's a statement of al-Imam Malik. That is regarding briefly the opinions upon the recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha.